Mach 5 handles MIDI automation in a couple of different ways, um, ways that are very useful and interesting. We're going to take a look at a scripted instrument and a quick synth patch that we threw together and the way that you can use MIDI controls and automation and the, the dials and buttons on your, your cool MIDI controller to actually manipulate the state of the sound in Mach 5. So I've got the Mark 79 electric uh, you know keyboard up, the Fender Rhodes, and let's say I want to make the intensity of the tremolo start to really crank up when I use the modulation wheel. So on these scripted instruments, if I right click one of the controls, it comes up with a value, you know, a drop down list of all the MIDI controllers. So you can really assign it to anything you want. So if you have your controller, you know, a knob on your controller sending to MIDI control value 108, then when you touch that knob, this thing will move. Um, so just for a quick one, we'll use the modulation wheel and I'll hit OK and that's it. It's done. When I move my mod wheel now, you'll notice that the intensity knob moves. So in the middle of playing, I can take a chord and play it pretty straight, then move that mod wheel up and you hear the tremolo kick in. And then I can turn it off. And you don't have to do just one thing. Um, you can actually have it, you know, respond to multiple knobs if you want. So I can have the tremolo kick on and the distortion if I wanted to. I'll do the same thing, assign it to the modulation wheel. So that one wheel will control two things now. So useful on this type of instrument or on an organ where you want it to kind of you know, kick up the volume and pull out some draw bars at the same time, stuff like that. So a really neat way to look at it. Now let's take a look at a different instrument, um, a synth. So we've got this um, synth and let's assign it to MIDI channel one. Okay, so we go to the edit window and we'll see the waveform that I've made. I'm using just a, you know, basic oscillator analog synth type thing. So we got a, you know, it's hard synced. And let's say I want to use a knob on my controller to control the harmonic shift of the, the hard, the hard sync. Um, it's real easy. Anything in this, you know, cool. And we've got a very basic oscillator setup, but you can imagine if I've got a big stack loaded up, um, you know, there's lots of knobs and you want to be able to assign them to what you want. So I'll go to this shift knob, I'll right click it and I'll hit MIDI learn. And now this is great. All I have to do is turn the knob on my controller and it did it. It learned it. So MIDI learn makes it take the next incoming MIDI message and says that will change this thing forever. So it does. And now when I play So there we go. So now I can quickly, without even having to know what controller number my MIDI controller knobs are sending out, I can just do a quick assignment of all these different, you know, all these different things. I can pick a different knob. I right click that MIDI learn. I can make it a slider. It doesn't have to be a knob. So I can go to this slider right underneath and move it. And now that slider. is controlling things. So my sliders and knobs will all control stuff using the MIDI learn function. It's so quick and so easy. Awesome.